first alert weather. Okay, this is what the wind chills are this morning to start with. I thought you might want to <laughs> thought you might want to see this because it is uh, chilly. First day of summer, 24 is what it feels like in Driggs, 28 in the Du Bois. It feels like we're about the same in Jackson. It feels like 24 in Arco and 25 degrees in Mackey. We're below freezing with the wind chills in Pocatello and Ketchum. It feels like 33 degrees. Now that that's the wind chill, so that's just a little bit of a blip of a breeze, uh, but that's enough to make you go wet. Margaret, you need to click the heat or you can just go north to Yellowstone. Look at the line at the West Gate. This is what people are doing. They're run, they're running, running to get outdoors at uh, West Yellowstone, Montana. And yeah, they're they're trekking to the outdoors. It's going to be bright around here. That's the good news. It will warm up ever so slightly, but you got to know it's even colder there in the Montana. We begin the morning with 40s and close to 50 by the official arrival of summertime at 857, 858 this morning, depending on uh, how bad your how cheap your watch is. It will be in the mid to upper 60s by the afternoon. I don't don't suspect that we're going to get much past 70 degrees unless you're like a cat and find a warm spot. Uh, we're going to get cool into tonight and we've opened up the back door for more of that cold air to slide in here tomorrow. It stands to reason it will be closer to normal mid to upper 70s with a little bit of cloud cover and then we warm up and storm up and I got a shower chance in here for Friday. It is bright this morning and it is chilly 38. If you're going for the morning walk or taking the dogs out or just seeing everybody off to camp or work or you're trying to leave the house for summertime, it officially starts this morning, right? 31 in Arco is the temperature. That's the air temperature that has nothing to do with the wind chill. Most of us are feeling a little bit of that. So 30s close to 40 in Blackfoot. We got a, a just a, a low ridge that is over us and it's kicking up some showers into the southwestern corner. This is our frost advisory for those expensive baskets that you might have and we're tracking what what is of those showers and it's not much. Uh, but I expect it to be clear for a couple of days and dry and then by Friday we ramp up to another storm chance along the state lines and I'll put those on the map for you coming up here just a little bit on into Friday afternoon but it looks like there's a better than half a chance that they'll be in the atmosphere but you got a couple of days to get the sun and get the heat and to start to absorb the fact that yes it's officially summer today after 29 Nine months of official winter, we really could uh, stand some heat around here, right? Unlike Texas, where they're tired of it. Uh, maybe all those people in line at West Yellowstone are from there. It's 117 degrees yesterday with the heat index in San Antonio. That is an all time record for heat indexes. It was so hot yesterday. How hot was it? It was so hot. <laughs> Most people's tramp stamps melted. 67 in Afton, and that'll stain your britches. 69 into Malad for the afternoon, 64 in Driggs, 69 in Rexburg, 67 St. Anthony, about 65 in, in Salmon, 60 in Mackey for the afternoon. Still below average for this time of year by about 10 degrees. Normally we should be 77, 78 degrees. We're not going to get there today. We'll be below 70, and it will still be chilly tonight. Your local news eight day extended forecast for the first day of summer. A officially around 8:58 this morning. It'll be in the 50s for us and then we get to 69 for the afternoon in Blackfoot. 70s tomorrow. Good chances of showers and storms for summertime fun and then a warmer weekend by weekend's end. That would be weekend squared. It will be 79 in Salmon and then we do see some 80s on the map. So we're taking a big temperature swing here over the next five days into Jackson. It'll be 66 today, so a little more warmth and decent uh, bike riding weather. Pocatello is going to be 70 today and bright. Ross Park this weekend, 78 degrees. That water's still going to be a little chilly though. 68 as summer arrives and we'll be down to 38 tonight, so still cool. There may be some frost around, but we'll get back to the 70s and approach normal temperatures for this time of the year by Sunday. Your job is to tell me the best local summer fun activity, not shoplifting 534-9957 on the Hollaback line. Back to you.